At Chicago Midway, a flight to Orlando has been oversold, spelling potential disaster for Greg and Marie's family vacation. We have a party of six that needs to get on, so we're just working on that. We're just getting Orlando so hard to oversell. A lot of people don't volunteer. We all had reservations for five or six months, and they overbooked it, oversold it, and now we're not getting on, and no one's getting off. None. Their trip to Florida is a big family get-together. This is our first family vacation with seven, like I have four and he has three, and so there were going to be seven kids all together. So it's the first whole family vacation that we were going to take. So, you know, we wanted it to be smooth. He booked it so far ahead of time. Every, you know, everything was copacetic, and then this happened. Their only hope of getting to Orlando is if Angelica can persuade four passengers to give up their seats. Last, last attempt. I have a family of six that need to be accommodated. I just need four volunteers for really, really nice volunteers. Heard, I'm sure you heard all my spiel. The cost of your fare, plus an additional $200 in the form of a travel voucher. No one's gonna do it. All right, so have two of Yeah. Two of these? Okay. Ooh. Folks, we did not get anybody else. Anybody else? I still have two empty seats on this one, though. I've had these reservations for like five, six months. I understand that, sir, but unfortunately, there's no seats. Well, it's, that's your fault. It's okay. not my fault. I understand that you're upset, sir, well, but you like start, I said... I suggest you bump things up until you get some I can't out. bump it, sir. Uh -huh. I can't. No, we, we don't do that, man. There's just a certain price that we go to, and that's, that's pretty well, much as far as we go. pay for my... I mean, I want on this, on this flight. We've got people waiting for us. Right. I've got a condo be... that's rented. I mean... Right, sir, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to accommodate you on this flight. I do have a flight that you can go to. You're going to have to go through Baltimore. I'm holding the plane. If you're not going to go, then I'm going to have to release the aircraft. Why don't you guys go on? I've been on flights before. You, if, you, if you offer people enough, you'll go people Sorry, that's what I just came from. Well, how that's much did you offer them? We can only offer them $200. Well, for I suggest tour. you offer more. We cannot do that, sir. We cannot do that. We can only go as well, far as $200. i am not volunteering for anything. But now they're telling us we have to go through Baltimore and we get in at 11 o'clock tonight. I mean, shouldn't they, you know, shouldn't be overbooking it that much then? I mean, then what are we supposed to do? We paid a lot of money for these flights. He flies Southwest all the time. Well, I just need to know at this point if you're going to go to the Baltimore flight or not, sir. It's unfair. I know it is. Unfair? Unfair? It's like illegal. Start giving us some no, free round-trip tickets or something. But are you going to go on this Baltimore flight or not, sir? I just need to know because I'm holding the I'm plane. I'm not volunteering for anything. I'm going to talk to your manager. Get me on this flight. I don't care what you got to do. I don't care what you got to do. V has stepped in to handle the Orlando situation. We've got two little kids meeting us on the other oh. side with my parents. One is sick. I suggest you do something that really make me happy. I've had these tickets reserved for six months. I know. I know. I know. I mean, this isn't even funny anymore. I mean, okay. I've been on other airlines where they walk on and they offer enough until people get off. What well, is Southwest cheap? Unfortunately, sir, unfortunately, these customers would not move. Well, you, you didn't okay. offer enough. Sir, Everybody's got a price. Uh, unfortunately, they would not move. That is that's cool. not That's not the compensation that we offer. Well, you need to you offer know? more because I tell you, legally, you uh -huh. oversold the flight. What do you mean we can't legally do it? We do oversell flights, sir. All airlines over the flight. Mean, he's retired, and he loves to litigate. Okay. okay. Marie decides it's time to call the family lawyer. Daddy? Okay, my little lawyer, I have a question for you. We're all sitting here, they overbooked the flight, and they wouldn't get us on, and aren't they technically, they're supposed to offer people money to get off the flight to get us on? We booked these flights five, six months ahead of time. Sir, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you on a flight. It's gonna leave here at 6.15. It's gonna make a 20 minute stop in Nashville. You do not get off the aircraft. You're gonna be arriving in Orlando at 10.40. These are 6.15? 6.15, I'm already pulling your boarding cards. Well, we, 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 have any, we don't have any other option, do we? No. What we did is we ended up overbooking flights to accommodate you. But we weren't, at no so point we're So you do the gonna... same thing to somebody else that you did to me? Well, we're hoping we don't, but <laughs> we might. That's horrible. Oh, man. I've traveled hundreds and hundreds of times, and I'm saying I've never been on a flight where they haven't got somebody to get off a flight voluntary ever well, when they were overbooked. Well, this is the first, I guess, then. It is. You live long enough, you see everything. Four hours later, the Florida-bound family are finally on their way. See ya. Bye-bye. I think sometimes they think that the louder they scream, the, the harder it is we're going to work. But we're working, I mean, the minute that 
we're over something. We're, we're looking for something. We're, we're constantly, constantly looking. We're even lucky to have that option, so we did the best that we could. At BWI, Carol is dealing with an overbooked flight to Norfolk. We have to get you a seat right now. Okay, so just stand by. We have one for you. We actually have to have somebody come off the plane. Three passengers are returning from job interviews with Southwest. They are traveling on free tickets, courtesy of the airline, but have just been pulled off the flight to make way for paying passengers. We got our tickets and everything. We've been waiting here since like six something. They just told us to get off the plane. Why? We're non revenue passengers. So what's going to happen to us? Exactly. Uh, we don't have any other flights to Norfolk tonight. We're going to have to rebook you for tomorrow. So where are we going to stay? Yeah. Um, that is totally up to you because you're non-revenue passengers. You didn't pay for the ticket on the flight. Uh, we can. Uh, we have uh, hotels in the area. We'll look we can up give you suggestions. You. Minute, you can just no, 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 no. Not right. good okay. enough at all. But the terms of traveling for free are lost on them. Well, yeah. Southwest, y'all got some issues. Y'all need to um, figure out. Can I just ask you to refrain? Were you here for an interview with Southwest? Yes. yes. Well, right now you're actually representing Southwest. And I would ask you to just please refrain because I don't want you to jeopardize any kind of situation right you have going on. But right now you're about to. And I understand that. But All one day. more comment and you're probably going to jeopardize any kind of future you have here with Southwest. So please. Hi, you guys are going to Norfolk? Yes. You guys got pulled off the flight? Yeah, did she explain to you, Carol, or did explain to you guys what happened? I'm, I need to know why they did that. We did not make plans to be staying overnight anywhere. We made plans to be home tonight. We don't have ends for accommodations they want to make for us. I want to get home tonight. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. I want to get home tonight. I understand you're upset. But I do need to ask you to, to you can calm down just a little bit. How am I going to get home? I understand that you're upset, but you were traveling on a space available ticket. You were traveling in non, as a non-revenue. Okay, well, we, when we, I we got paid. these tickets, when I made this reservation, mm -hmm. Southwest never told me I was going to be on standby. Well, I'm sorry about that, but unfortunately... I need to know how I'm going to get home tonight. That's what I need to know. There's no other flights to Norfolk tonight. So what are y'all going to do for me then, since I can't get home? Well, we can send you out try to find another flight for tomorrow morning, and you'll be standby just like you were on this flight today. And so where am I going to go? We where can we give you a sleep? hotel room that you'll have to pay for, and this kind of ticket. No. That's very far. Can you OK, I just want to say something to you all separately. She's real close to actually not having a ticket to fly at all. And I would suggest, if you all want to fly, that, that you kind of stand a little bit further away, because to be honest with you, I'm about to take her ticket and she'll find her own way home. Because okay. she's actually representing Southwest and I'm having a real problem okay. with that. They let all of us get our tickets, they let us on the plane, and then once we get on the plane buckled up and everything ready to go, they call us off the plane. Now, we don't have no way to get back home. We have to wait till tomorrow. I think we're all right. Okay. Because this other girl just... Nicholas has a final word. Right. If you guys are going to be future employees, that's how it is. Especially sometimes when you're when you're traveling, you're gonna be flight times. You're gonna have delays. You can get stuck in cities. That's how the that's what the airline business is like. This okay. is what it's all that's about. Fine. You as know. As I can get home in the morning, You'll get home in the morning. It, the, the seats look open at this right, time, so you should be fine. Okay. Did you have any more questions? That's not. All right. I'll be right back okay. with the seats for you. For folks that are thinking about coming with Southwest, if you want to know the don'ts, that would be the don'ts that you would never, we wouldn't want to see that ever. Like, not even, your very worst day, wouldn't even want to see that. My flight leaves tomorrow at 8, 10 in the morning. I don't have no choice but to stay here. And I think that's, that's, that looks really bad. We don't train people to be friendly. We hire friendly people, and they're not it. So, not folks we probably want in the family. Over in Baltimore, Victor Liberatore and his family are trying to get home to Buffalo after a long day's travel. What am I gonna do with four kids, a job till Tuesday, ma'am? That's what I'm saying about guaranteeing your seat. I don't do that. How do I guarantee? But I can't I can't be responsible because that plane is late getting here to guarantee. It's not, it's not about so far. Yeah, but, but, I, but I paid for the seats to go home. I don't want to go home Tuesday. Victor's flight from Jacksonville arrived too late for him to secure boarding passes for him and his family. And now the Buffalo flight is oversold. That ain't right, ma'am. What's happening is, book the flight to fly from 
Fort Lauderdale to Buffalo. We flew from Fort Lauderdale to Jacksonville, Jacksonville to Baltimore. We got here and they said we don't got tickets to get home. It's overbooked. It's your way or no way. That's the way it is. We still need to give you a compensation. Again, just your name is still on the list. If anybody does volunteer, we're certainly going to call folks up. It doesn't look like anybody's going to Well, when I got here, when we got here, she said it was five seats. The plane to Buffalo had room for all but one of them when they got to the gate. So I'm saying, well, and I'm saying, well, what are we doing here? And I got a little pissed off, and I'm going to be honest with you, right or wrong. All of a sudden, now she says I got three. No, we're down to three. In, Come on. In a matter of it's not right. us standing here facing the shock of well, what, not being able to get on a wanna, flight as she's want, handing somebody a boarding I don't pass. Want to speak for her, but she, you said that when you when they came up, that there they only had five seats. Five seats. And you told us we had six, a split and up. six in but, your party. But you know, you're right, okay? But all of a sudden, you're looking at me saying, we don't have seats for you. And as you're saying that, and we're going, what? You're handing somebody a boarding pass. Come on, that ain't right. All Adrian can do is refund their tickets, but it's not going to be enough to get them home this evening. Um, yes. But I got four kids that got to get to school. I got a job that I got to get to. Work. So you're going to compensate me this. I'm mean, it's going to cost me probably that for a car to get from here back home. So I gain nothing, and I got to drive ten hours. Ten hours. Four kids. When you intentionally overbook flights by 6, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, right now, you have intentionally overbooked one flight to Buffalo, of all places, by 14 people. It's a 10-hour drive home, honey, with four kids. They're going to compensate me. Big deal. It won't even cost the gas to get home. But I know what you want. You want me to give up the three so you can give them to somebody else and get me out of here. That's what you want. Anything you don't want to do. Ma'am. Who the hell do you overbook by 30 Because they got, they got, your, they got your money. They got your money for that a length amount of time, okay? And they use it. After a final call brings no volunteers for three more seats, flight 2128 to Buffalo leaves the gate without the liberatores. Two blue roller bags, one duffel bag. I just need your driver's license for you with the chips. Is that okay? I don't want no money. I don't want no money. I don't want no money. I'll get it all. One way or the other, I'm getting it all. Then we get back, I want to let her. I'm going to call the news everything, okay? Because they shit us on this deal. Don't put that on there. Decided. You decided for us. Victor decides to refuse the standby option and accept a full refund with compensation. Now, there's only one way home. What's the outcome? I'm gonna have to drive 10 hours to get home. That's the outcome. We've been here since 11 o'clock. Just be patient, we'll probably get you on this flight, okay? At LAX, Jen is calming a group of Vegas passengers who are delayed due to an earlier cancellation. We have a probably about 25 people that were supposed to leave at 12, 20, 15 that are still here. Everyone's rebooked on the 315, but some passengers try to make it on the oversold 2 o'clock flight. There were after me. Okay, I want somebody else higher than you now. Okay. They were after me, way after me. Sign up? Yeah, they were after me. They were after me. Why not? I want you to give me the flight. I want it now. You check my flight. When I checked in and they checked in. Give it to me on the screen. Okay. I will as soon as I'm done here. You are like done right now. Now I'm going to fill the flight and then I'll give you the information. Yeah, yeah because you have to fill it with me. So. Back in Los Angeles, frustration levels are rising. Why aren't we on the flight and why do we have to be at the airport over three or four hours waiting when we did absolutely nothing? We did everything right. Why? That's what I want to know. You're not scheduled on this flight? I was scheduled on the flight that you guys canceled. That's what flight I was on. I don't know why your flight was canceled. We can look at that. I'm, I just walked up here. Does it really matter? It doesn't matter. I want to know why I'm not on this flight. That's what matters. And we're truly sorry about that, but we can't you accommodate. You are sorry because we can't accommodate you're not doing flight. anything for me, so therefore you're not sorry. You work for a full year. You work off, and you're, you're missing one extra day of vacation. That's a big deal. Thank God I'm not middle class, but you know, I, I can't imagine if I was. Back in L.A., two standby passengers, Erica and Belinda, are also having trouble boarding the Vegas flight. Oh, my oh, God, she didn't say one bad word. Of course. 
Why well, don't you wait for the supervisor? Okay. No, 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 no,
I fly approximately 30 times a year on you guys. But this Before. flight has been oversold for days, so there's no way that you would have been able to get a confirmed reservation this on this flight This has been oversold for days? Yes. What am I going to do now? Perhaps I will go and write a letter to Southwest Airlines and tell them that they should perhaps strain their reservation speed. That if the reservations people don't know the reservations code, we have a problem here. Yolanda confirms the family on the 8 o'clock flight. You're very welcome. They're on standby for the next five hours. But will they wait? Or will the D'Souza family find another way home? In LAX, the oversold Oakland flight is ready to go. But one last passenger has fallen behind the rest of his party. Where were you? Were you in another They should speak English. They open blend. Oh, they, they, they're on the plane Yeah, already? they're on the plane. They should speak English. I'm staying. Okay. I can uh, interpret that for them. They... You can interpret for them? Yeah. Well, they're on the plane. They, they'll probably be fine. I'm concerned about you because all the planes tonight to Seattle are sold out. There's no more space tonight. You can go stand by, but it doesn't look good tonight to Seattle. OK, Patty. <laughs> I want out of gate two now. All right. Yolanda realizes Michael Tran is confirmed on the flight, and his seat has been given to a standby customer. This is like one of those flights where like one thing happens and then it just goes all downhill. <laughs> it's like, no. So hopefully we can beg somebody to get off. Back at LAX, Yolanda's making one last request for volunteers to allow Michael on board. Okay, folks, as you know, this flight was overselling to begin with and I know I've solicited volunteers before, but I have to give one last shot. If there's anyone that has flexibility in their travel plans, we can confirm you on the 8 o'clock, give you dinner. You'd be priority standby on every flight to Oakland, but you would definitely be confirmed on the 8 o'clock flight. Oh, four of you? Okay, I'm coming back there to talk to you. How many are you? Four of you? Okay, and you're just going to Oakland, right? Okay, and you want volunteer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we get, wait one second, we get $200. Plus the one-way face value of each ticket in a travel voucher. It's like a flight gift certificate. Okay. Okay. I'm not dumb. <laughs> That's a Christmas trip. I'm yeah. surprised more yeah. people don't volunteer. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. With three extra seats, there's now room for the D'Souza family. But they're no longer in the gate area. He said he was going to America West and stormed out. I booked him for the 8 o'clock, though, but he was not happy at all. It seems the D'Souza's decided to take another airline after all. At Houston, passengers are receiving an offer they can refuse. Would you like to volunteer? Volunteer for compensation. No. Okay. Would you be interested in that? No. It's basically, it's That's not, not a good deal. deal. The 5 o'clock flight to New Orleans has been oversold, and Cindy's desperately seeking help. We are completely full right now. We are still looking for some volunteers who might have flexible travel plans. If there's anybody that would like to give up their seat on this one, we got a guaranteed seat for you on the 6.05 departure. Just about everything is completely sold out. We have a like every hour or every half hour flight. So, you know, that's a pretty high frequency for all of those to be completely sold out and completely full. So it'll be pretty busy. <laughs> $200 plus whatever you paid for your one-way ticket that's in the form of a travel voucher, which is like a gift certificate. Grab a friend, come on down. <laughs> we are still looking for four seats, four seats. That's all I need. Come on. Sweetheart, for $200, I can show you a good time. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> once again, folks? Going once, because if she doesn't, I can't. Going Come once? Come on. <laughs> Going go, twice? Go, go. Wait, are we talking cash here or are we talking a coupon? If it was cash, I would do it. No, it's not cash. OK. Show me the money. What was that movie? Julie prepares some passengers for the possibility of being bumped. I want to own this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have any volunteers willing to give up their seats. If and when I get some volunteers, I'll call you up and accommodate you on this flight. Possessing a valid ticket may not guarantee travel today. It leaves in like 15, 20 minutes. So I still need six seats. At Houston, Cindy hopes persistence will pay off. OK, folks, it's me again. <laughs> Now you're gonna make me beg. 
So maybe you just weren't listening the first 17 times I made this announcement, so I'm gonna just repeat it again. All I need is one person to grab five of their closest friends and come on over here to see me. I might sound a little annoying right now. <laughs> Boarding begins, but with no takers, Mr. Chen finds himself at the bottom of the list. Unfortunately, I don't have a seat for you. The flight is full. So how to do? When I do job, how to do? I apologize, sir. Unfortunately, I don't have any more so seats who, on the aircraft. who I can complain? When I lose the job, that boss angered me, then fire me, then your company need to take it out, or I need to call a lawyer. At Houston, Julie explains overbooking. Just like with every other carrier, sir, we overbook the majority of our flights and expect no-shows. Unfortunately, with this flight, almost everyone showed sir? up. You fulfilled your end of the deal. You showed up, and we didn't have a seat for you. So, in, in that respect, we have to compensate you for that. We have another job. We need to go, go back. I go understand, back sir, and I apologize. Unfortunately, there are no more seats You apologize here. when I lose the job, how to do? I, I could give you a note, an explanation of delay you getting there. But uh, unfortunately, but, uh, I don't but have you a seat guarantee for you. my boss not filing? Well, I, I can't make those type of guarantees, sir. This gentleman, unfortunately, was involuntarily denied boarding, which means that he didn't volunteer. He didn't want to give up his seat. So what I'm doing now is writing him uh, refund drafts for his compensation and uh, confirming him on the 605 departures. I'm also going to give him an explanation of delay to his uh, company, because apparently he was going to work and, and was kind of short on time. So, Mr. Chen breaks the bad news to his boss. Maybe I tried another company, you know, better the Southwest, I chose another one. Yeah. 7 a.m., rush hour, and there's trouble brewing on the Manchester flight. Looks like she's overselling at B-10. Almost all airlines oversell their flights. If they didn't, we'd be paying twice as much for our tickets. Usually, there's no problem because not everyone turns up. But today, they're all here. And it's V's job to get them on board or rebooked. What's going on? Trying to oversell and okay. re-rep negative. Okay, I'm not the one that oversold the flight. All the airlines here will oversell their flight, sir. Not That's not my problem, though. I paid $400 to get on this plane. I, I do apologize. My part apologize. of the deal was done at that point. Sir. Now, you have to get me there. Do you have enough volunteers? Well, they're going to go back on, and she's going to try to solicit for more right. volunteers. Well, I got to get to that not, British Springsteen I, concert, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I don't get on that plane, my luggage better not be on that plane if you have to. Can your bags both be on the plane, sir? Um, you need to get out of that plane, otherwise I'll be in huge trouble. I'm all, all the Okay, let me explain one thing. There are 140 tickets and only 137 seats. You do the math. This could get interesting, so stay tuned. Back in Chicago, and time's running out for four passengers about to be stranded. So what's the cutoff time where you're going to take off? Well, nobody is going to volunteer their seat, then we have to let okay, the plane so how are you going to get me to Manchester by 1 o'clock? I can't guarantee you to get there by 1. The they thing? need a miracle or just a family who don't mind waiting two hours for the next flight. Yes, that's what we needed, OK? I'm very grateful, very grateful. I have someone on board right now, so she's probably kind of waiting for me, so. Thank you. Thanks much. I've been going since 5 o'clock this morning, so um, right now, this is like the peak time for us. For the most part, it makes your day go by pretty quickly, and it's really exciting. It really is. Three hours of non-stop walking, and V needs a rest. But not just yet. There's another plane overbooked. With 10 minutes to departure, no volunteers, and three passengers left stranded. They have to get us on another airline. That's ridiculous. OK. And who were the last passengers you'd ever want to upset? Customer service is part of my line of work. I have a conference that I'm going to be facilitating at at 1 o'clock. Okay. There are several hundred people waiting for me. My, my specialty is consumer fraud litigation. And to me, this is exactly the kind of thing that my clients go through all the time. How's V going to get out of this one? Back in Chicago, customer service manager V is still facing angry passengers who've been bumped off their flight to Seattle. 
Lena Neal, who's going to miss her conference on customer service, and litigation lawyers, the Mikvahs. It's a bike trip for his 50th birthday. We saw a whole package. If we don't get there in time, we lose the whole, like, $3,000 package. Okay. We're still asking customers to uh, relinquish their seats, and obviously, I have a supervisor on board right now doing that, so we're trying everything so, possible. How much are you paying for the tickets? Okay. How much are you paying? I'll, I'll give up my seat. Uh, 200 plus what you pay for the one-way ticket. It's not in cash, it's a travel voucher. So, $200? Plus whatever you pay for the one-way portion of your ticket. Sign up. Okay. I'm a real estate agent. I negotiate. If it's $1,000, I'll give it up. Oh, no. No, as far as I'm concerned, it's not enough. I'll be happy to give it up, but uh, it, it has to be something better. The plane leaves without them. V can offer compensation and a booking on a later flight, but it's no consolation for Lena. He had a terrible bite. I understand. I understand that. He did next one leaves at 5.50 and then 9.20 tonight. You know, I feel for him. I'm sympathizing with him. But the more a customer is upset, the better I am because I remain in control at all times. Because I do want the perfect outcome for both the company and the customer. So I have a swollen left foot that's getting larger. The pain is getting worse. I've lost a day's pay. And this is the present I get. Lena realizes there's nothing more V can do to help. She takes the compensation and a seat on a later flight. But the mikvahs aren't giving up that easily. All right, no one volunteered their seat. So the best I can do right now is I would have to involuntarily deny you boarding and pay you twice the amount in cash. I'm, I don't want the I'm cash. I want okay. you to book us on another airline. I can book you on another airline. And, and if that airline is $1,500, we can't you, pay for it. That's your problem. That, no, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. You know what? You have, we're, to, okay. you have to get somebody All right, so to authorize let me, okay, let me, let me try to see what I can do right now. Otherwise, there's a okay. lawsuit for over $5,000. Okay. Because that's what we're going to lose this weekend. All right, weekend. I understand. And we will sue you. Okay. <laughs> In Chicago, V's still struggling to keep the mikvahs happy. With their flight gone, they can't start their vacation until tomorrow, and they're looking for something beyond what's been offered. V's got a new suggestion. So right now, what I'm doing for you is calling for a hotel for tonight in Seattle. We'll right. pay for that. And uh, then I need to compensate you. Then I need to get you checked in for the next flight. Right. Okay. That's, let's do that. All right. Sure. Okay. I've been doing this for 16 years, and you've been and you learn not to take anything personal because you know that customer is upset for that moment with the situation. They're not upset at you. They're trying to do what what you need to do, and, and she's working very hard at trying to do that. Thank you. Okay, you are so Thank welcome. You. I'm so sorry. I hope the rest okay. of your day is a little Thank you. easier. Thank you.